Tell me what, what how St. Charmbo has affected oh, your life. Oh my gosh. He has given me unbelievable strength to get through this journey. On my stroke was on May 22nd, three years ago, the brain surgeon, when I met him, after this was to a point where I could go to a visit and meet him, he said, his first words out of his mouth were, that there is no medical reason on earth that I should be alive. I should be dead right now. And I figured from there, I could only go up, right? And he said that, he said, and I'm the one that put you back together. And he said, but there is no medical reason you should be on this earth. And I said, well, there might not be a medical reason, but I know there's a spiritual reason. I did, I did know that I had the worst headache in my life and it just kept getting worse. The hemorrhagic stroke had five bleeds in my head. And so it pretty much took up my whole head. And so they had to do a craniotomy, is that what that is? When they took off my skull and they left it off for two months and uh, they would put it back on after the swelling and the bleeding stopped. I had to wear a helmet because they said that the biggest thing was you don't want to get an infection because you would never be able to get the skull back on. We're going to create one from a 3D printer out of titanium steel. And that's what they did. So on this side of my head, I have a titanium piece as a skull. How did St. Charmbel come into this whole thing? Well, um, my daughter-in-law's mother brought me this and it is it is a relic and of his piece of his clothing on this holy card and I took it with me from the from the minute this happened I had it with me at the hospital and I see you in every operation and my daughter saw me who she had knew know nothing about St. Charbel. She knew that I carried this with me and I was always praying to St. Charbel. And while I was in ICU, in a coma, she, I was paralyzed on this side of my leg and this whole side of my hand and everything. And she started to rub it on my legs and my arms. And the nurse came in to take my blood pressure and the other nurse, they were switching shifts and the other nurse said, oh, you don't need to worry about her. She's paralyzed on that side. And right then my arm went up and it was after my daughter had done this for a good while while I was out. And I knew that the sequences just lined up everything. That there, there had to be a lot I know it was God through this intercession of St. Charbel that helped me because when I had these operations, it was 12 o'clock on a Saturday night. Where would you get three surgeons lined up that could always get there? All three were on their way there and one dropped something or one stopped at a red light. They wouldn't have all got there in time to do this. And it's timing, it's everything. And he had just been there for me. And I mean, just the strength that I needed every day to get through this. I had to learn for three years how to talk, how to walk, how to reason, how to turn on everything that was unplugged by this stroke. And St. Charbel helped me every step of the way, every step of the way. And it just was unbelievable to me. And I am a firm believer, and I tell everybody, uh, people I meet everywhere, <laughs> but how wonderful he was to me. I'm not special, I'm just a person. But to him, I was special enough to help all this way to get me back to here. And it's just amazing to me. I don't know what else to say. I mean, my son would come over and he would take one arm and my, my grandson would have the other arm. He, they would walk me because I couldn't walk without falling. This yellow paper here, mm -hmm. 
We had to put them all over the house so she didn't walk into the wall.